With your organization and the project you're working on, you aim to contribute to the good of society and address a particular social cause. In short, you want to have impact. But what exactly does impact mean? Having impact involves bringing about changes in the target group you're working with, the environment they live in, and in society overall. The logic model can help you navigate your way through this. You invest different things into your project like time and money. These are inputs that eventually lead to outputs like your services or offerings. Over time, you'll see that changes take place in your target group and in society overall. The sum of these changes are what we call social impact. Sometimes we lose sight of our objectives as we get caught up in the day-to-day -day work and we're paying attention to things that need our immediate attention. But it is important to remain mindful of the bigger picture and take time to reflect on what we're doing today so that we can achieve our broader goals. This involves things like integrating impact-driven goals into your project from the very beginning, monitoring the impact your project is having, improving the impact the project is having, learning from your mistakes, motivating the people you work with, ensuring good communication of your results, and demonstrating the legitimacy of your project to the people who fund you. So where do we start? When organizations begin planning for projects, they generally think in terms of what sorts of activities and services they can offer. The problem with this, though, is that offering services alone doesn't necessarily lead to social impact. In order to implement impact orientation, you need to ask yourself what sorts of things you want to achieve in the long run. What kinds of changes need to take place? For whom? What will this look like? And this is important because this is your vision, and everything else depends on it. Once you've figured that out, it's much easier to determine the activities that you'll need. This approach has two key benefits. One is that it allows you to ensure that your day-to-day -day work is in alignment with the goals of social impact, and it can actually enhance it. Now, impact orientation and quality management are often confused, but it's not a standardized tool. It's an attitude. This seems rather complex and resource intensive, but it can actually be pretty straightforward. In fact, you can get started at any point, even with projects that are already underway. That's one of the nice things about targeting social impact. It has its benefits and rewards no matter when you start. So really, there's no need to be afraid.